Hey guys, Oni here with episode 18 of our Ditech Factorio Let's Play. Okay, so as you can see, my uh, turrets are doing a good job of killing these queens. Uh, I did replace a good portion of my outer turrets with the blue turrets. I mean, these ones are still red. These ones are still red, but at the choke points that I have, they're mostly blue. And if you'd look, I now have these bronze topaz laser turrets that do 25 plus 20 laser damage per shot. And they're very good. Now... Those only use th those are the pretty much the the lowest tier of the bronze or sorry of the topaz uh, lasers because I don't have uh, enough raw topaz to mass produce the silver level nor do I have any tungsten to um, produce the gold topaz. Uh, however, I did start mining tungsten as you can see. Oh, sweet! Got the next level laser damage. Let's go ahead and go for laser shooting speed if we can. Okay, so uh, basically, up here, I did start mining the tungsten over here, and let's see, it's probably already mined out because it was a very small patch, to be honest with you. There is one more patch here with 4,000 tungsten, which I will get. Let's go ahead and um, start mining that. I did most of this off camera, camera because it was mostly just me setting up miners. It wasn't really that exciting. So let me go ahead and set up this guy right here that way he can reach uh, he can reach like right here sweet and then we will connect them up to our system right there and we don't really need this splitter here anymore nor do we need this turn here so that should be good let's go ahead and turn down the uh, auto save interval we'll turn it up I mean uh, 20 minutes or so Okay. Now, so now that I have tungsten, I can start making the more advanced uh, materials, such as tungsten, obviously. Um, but first, I did it. I went ahead and made the. I went out and killed a, a couple of biter bases with my laser shotgun, with the highly advanced shotgun batteries, which is amazing. It does so much damage. I mean, it doesn't kill the you know the bigger biters like the kings and the queens that at all basically, but it does take care of the smaller biters. Even the Berserker Biters without any problem, and it, it just melts the spawners and melts the worms. So I did get enough uh, alien artifacts to build myself a Power Armor Suit Mark II. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take out all of our Power Armor stuff here. And swap out our armor for the Mark II armor. Which, as you can see, has more uh, of a, uh, has a bigger grid that we can work with. I'm going to go ahead and put my Fusion Reactor back in there. I'm going to put my two batteries in there. I'm going to put my three shields in there. And I also made a bunch more um, exoskeletons, exosuits. Because I, I like to be able to run really fast. So, yeah. Although right now it's mostly charging my battery, so it's not really... There we go, that's better. Now, I probably should invest in... Yeah, see, with four of these exoskeleton suits, or exosuits... Um, yeah, exoskeletons... Uh, one fusion reactor is not enough, so I need to make another one, which requires 30 alien artifacts. Uh, as you can see, I have been killing those queens, which I forgot to pick up the queen's corpse. So let's go back up here and see if we can't... First of all, let's lure this queen in here, because I need to kill it. Let's clear out some of these trees. Okay. And then the queens died right around this area, I think. Ish. I totally missed where they died at. Uh, I have how many queens? Two. Those are from earlier. No. Somewhere on the ground here is a queen's corpse. No, not really. I thought it was four queens. I, I got attacked by four queens and... Can't seem to find the corpses. That sucks. That's a... Uh... Those are free alien artifacts. Nope, still two. Okay, you're dead. I have three. So now we can go ahead and... Come on, there has to be some around here somewhere. I thought I killed one. Two of them, actually. Oh well. So we only have three. Um, I'm gonna swap out my keyboard here pretty soon 
for a quieter one because it's, it's a mechanical keyboard. I, I love it to death, but it's not really good for recording because you can hear every click I do. So I'm going to swap that out pretty soon here. Uh, let's see. So I need to put the queen corpses in this guy. Get the eggs. And everything else can go in this dump chest. Okay, so let's start working on tungsten stuff. Um, however, yeah, because I, I want to try out this personal personal laser defense Mark III because I know from experience that the vanilla one kind of sucks. But who knows? This one, uh, this one might be good. So let's go ahead and I do have the ability to make the Mark III armor, but I do not have anywhere near 150 alien artifacts, nor do I have any gunmetal alloy. So. Let's look up the recipe for the various materials here. So tungsten is just liquid tungsten, or tungsten ore, and lava that is heated to 3600 degrees. So we are going to need a lot of liquid handlers. So I'm going to make a bunch of these guys. And of course, I'm not going to sit here and make them uh, manually. I'm going to, or make the intermediates manually. I'm going to wait until I get delivered, and then I'm going to make more, and then wait till I get more gears delivered to me and then make more. In the meantime, what I can do is I have been meaning to go around to my uh, robo ports and sort of phase out the slower construction robots because uh, at this point, uh, nearly all of my robots that are logistics robots are Mark II. I have zero Mark I's. I might have one or two around here somewhere, but the majority are Mark II. I'd say about 95% are Mark II. And I want all of my construction robots to be the same because I don't want to run into a situation where I need something built right now, such as laser defense. And, you know, I have these slow skis, you know, hold me back. So let's just go find where all these guys are. The majority are probably going to be down here somewhere. Oh, there's another Mark 1 logistics robot. Give me that. Okay, not there. Oh, there's another there's another another logistics robot. There's a bunch of construction robots down here. Let's see, Mark One, give me those. And then, of course, are these all Mark Two, Mark Two, Mark One? Okay. And of course, what I can totally do is just swap these out for the Mark Twos. I, I have this is pretty much this is part of the recipe for the Mark Two. So I I don't I'm not wasting any materials here. I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna throw them away. So, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just wasting them, you know? I will reuse them, not to worry. So, are there any over here? No. Okay, any over here? No. And I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. So we're just finishing up making our ro uh, liquid handlers. I'm going to make, um, let's see, do I have any? I have 41 robot frames. I don't think you need the frames to upgrade your current. Yeah, you just need the highly advanced processing units. So I'm going to go grab, let's see, it takes five. And I have, how many robots do I have? 50, 60, 72. So let me grab, let's see. How many do I have, first of all? Let's grab these. These are extra anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and make these guys into Mark II's and I'm gonna finish these guys uh, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we made about uh we pretty much replaced all those robots, so let's go ahead and place them down. Okay. So that's finished. Now we have 30 liquid handlers. So let's go ahead and start with this lava. So I need to heat the lava, so I need to come down here. And of course I happen to put this machine right in the way. So I may have to come back. No, I'm not going to do that. So we're going to heat up the lava over here somehow. We're going to we're going to get a this might seem silly, but we're going to get these big ass underground pipes. Let's see. If I put down uh if, I mean it, I'll fit some right here, of course. So if I do this, if I just put down some right here like this and I say uh, one space for an inserter. Oop, oh, that way. One space for an inserter, space for a chest, space for an inserter, and then one more. Inserter, chest, inserter, one more. And I do this. Do this. 
and I get a, and I say I want you to heat the lava to 1800 degrees. What? Oh, duh. So I'm going to need a bunch of requester chests. So let's get rid of this and bring this down here. Whoops. Let's copy these settings and paste them and paste them. some power. Oh, uh, can I move this guy without breaking without? Okay. Let's put this guy right there. Okay, so you're hitting up the lava. Let's give you some speed upgrades. Okay, and now we need somewhere to hold the lava. Let's get our 10 tanks we just made. And we'll put it like uh, that. There we go. And now, uh, kind of stuck here, so we're going to actually do this. We're going to go down. And then we're going to come back up over here. We're going to go into a regular pipe. It's going to go into a this, blank, chest, blank, this, blank, chest, blank, this. Okay, so heat the lava from 1800 to 2000. I need two more requester chests. Let's paste it, paste it. Okay, now I need to hook it up to the main line, of course. And you're going to do this, this, and this. Okay. Let's get some more speed upgrades. Store it in a tank. And I'm just going to repeat this up until until I get to uh, 3,000. So I'll be right back. Okay, scratch that. Apparently you need carbon in order to go anywhere higher than 2,000. So I need to make some centrifuges. And come over here. Let's see. Can't really mooch off of these centrifuges because I'm already kind of trapped for space. So if I do this and I say make carbon, please, get water there. And I need coal. So how much coal do I have in the system? None? Nearly none. Wow. Okay. Uh,. So, this right here is using it for what then? Well, first of all, let's, I guess we can just go ahead and start mining our own separate coal line then. Uh, let's make... Um, I don't have any stone. So I need stone bricks. And regular stone. Which I know is way over here. In this big ass chest. Let's make, uh, let's make one more of these guys. My turret should be fine. They can rebuild them. Let's get a passive provider chest. And a couple fast, very, not very fast. Uh, let's do fast, just fast is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this miner, I'm going to put it uh, here, and once that's done, I'll put it next to it. This is in the network, right? No, it is not. So I need to come down and over here. So we'll do that. So we'll go like this. We'll go down to the left. Whoops. Okay, and then we'll go. Uh, 
one, two, oops, those are requests for chests. Whoops, that would help if I had connected him, right? Oh, the tree's in the way, that's why. Nope, chop the tree down. Don't mind the coal. What are you doing? All right. There we go. Got that all sorted. So now my coal level should be a tad higher now. Let's make these very fast inserters. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Again, with this BS, I thought I handled this already. Come on, you're an idiot. If I kill you with my pistol or my machine gun. It'll be very embarrassing for you. Alright, this is stupid. Come on. Do not get caught on the track, please. Oh, you're so dumb. And what did he destroy? Long inserter. Okay, so obviously we need more defenses down here. Uh, let's go ahead and paste down our advanced blueprints, which has the yellow guys, yellow turrets. The topaz ones. Let's go ahead and delete these guys. These guys are kind of useless to me right now. I have to delete these guys as well. And you guys are bronze rubies, so let's get rid of you as well. Let's put down the... Oops, which one has the blue ones? These ones, alright. Blue one, blue one. Blue one, blue one. Alright. Okay, and then we're going to do... Support, oops, support, and support. No, I can't put it there. Oh, well. But that should help, a little bit at least. All right, so, come back over here. Our coal levels are where? 1.3k. So we are getting more coal than we are using now. So let's go ahead and wait. Where did we? Where did he break that long inserter? Right here. Let's grab a long-handed inserter, which I already have one. Sweet. Uh, I guess you're doing this. I guess. All right. So back over here. This guy needs coal. So request coal, and then get a. Fast inserter. And you'll split that coal into sulfur and uh, what you call it? Carbon. So then I can get a passive, what you call it? Passive provider chest. Very fast inserter. And I can also give him speed upgrades. What's one do? Two? Two's enough. Sulfur and carbon, okay. So I guess for right now, one's enough. Uh, wait, is one enough? Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. However, we do probably want to chain this out a little bit. With a chain of very fast inserters. Come back over here. Let's put some lamps down because we can't see anything. Uh, right here. Okay. So you need 
Quester chest, quester chest, fast inserters. All right, and you need stone and carbon. So stone and carbon, uh, which is a metallurgy thingy. Let's make it 25. Let's give you access to lava, give you output, and then give you power, and then give you a speed upgrade. And give you somewhere to store the lava. Rocking and rolling. All right, so copy this, paste it here, copy this, paste it, and paste it. All right. And then also give these guys speed upgrades. All right. Now, okay, let's see. Now, if I want to do the same thing again, let's see if it takes uh, anything else. If I want to heat the lava to 22, 2400. Okay, good. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna finish this and uh, I'll come back when it's finished. All right, guys, so decided that I didn't need this much lava, you know, three liquid handlers worth for each tank. So I just went ahead and did one liquid handler on each tank until it got up to 3600. So as you can see, I'm now getting pretty hot lava. Uh, so I can wait for that to build up a little bit before I start using it. Uh, what we can do now is that you can see that the tungsten I was mining is now pretty much depleted. So we can just go ahead and erase all of this. No big deal. And I should. Oh, I thought I might have had enough robots to do that in one, one swoop. That would have been awesome. But no dice. So they're going to come flying over here and do their job. And eventually this will all be gone. Let's make sure we get the track as well. And we'll let that do its thing. Of course, now they're all out of energy. So, oh boy. All right, so we have this lava now. Let's get this lava up here and over here. So let's see. If I want to melt down tungsten, molten tungsten is tungsten ore and 0.2 units of lava in a blast furnace. So did I make an extra blast furnace at one point? thought I did, but I guess not. So we'll make one. Plenty of clay over here as well. Now there should be a, yeah, there's a Mark II robo port up here that they should be able to charge pretty fast at. Yeah, the charge is really fast. 800 kilowatts. Sweet. Uh, let's see, what's next? Let's go for robot speed. Yeah. Now, did that affect my sniper turrets or my... No, it didn't. They're still shooting at 1.0 uh, 1. second. No big deal. They're, they're, they're still really strong. So I'm not really worried about their shooting speed. All right, so we're about to finish this blast furnace. Let's go ahead and also queue up this for deletion as well. So we don't miss anything. Let's make sure that we get everything picked up. Okay. All right, so we got our blast furnace now. We can put our blast furnace right here, it's fine. And I'll say, I want you to make molten tungsten. Molten tu molten tungsten. There you go. I can say it. All right. And we'll have the lava coming on the left side because that's where the lava is. And we will actually take the lava and we'll pump it. Not pump it, but we'll go up. And let's zoom out and see where this is going to be at. Um, first, let's go over here first. And let's go under. And then over. And then under, over. Now, where is this going to come up at? Right here. So I can just go ahead and put a couple pretty good pipes there. Okay, so now you have lava at your desired temperature. 
And now let me get a requester chest right here that's requesting tungsten ore. Uh, 50 or so. Fast inserter. And a power pole. And you should be make, making the molten tungsten. Molten tungsten. Jeez. Why can't I say that? All right. Now, I don't want a whole lot right now, at least. So let's go ahead and make a... Just a regular storage tank for right now. I don't want, like, you know, 10 million units of tungsten. So we'll put that there. Actually, excuse me, let's put it up one. Let's go underground here. Oops, what am I doing? Underground, underground, there we go. It's liquid tungsten, all right. Now I can take that tungsten and I can make tungsten gears if I so choose. It takes point, it takes 10 units of tungsten to make a gear though, so that's only 15 gears so far. I guess, I, and I can't speed this up at all. Actually, you know what, I could. If I put a beacon here, eh, it's not worth it though. All right, so uh, what I really want to do is get the, I'll come over to, where is it at? Tungsten plate. I need liquid uh, tungsten and clean water and a forge. So I think I have, yep, I do have an extra forge. So uh, water, we'll do tungsten plate because I think the tungsten walls, there we go, yeah, they call it a tungsten plate. So let's see, what else uses that? Tungsten gear is here. Um, you know what? I'm not sure if I want to do that. Uh, reason being is that tungsten is pretty, not hard to come by, but, well, I guess it is pretty hard to come by because I don't have enough of it. Whatever. So we're going to go ahead and uh, swap this guy. And we're going to, what are you, a Mark IV? Okay, so we'll get a Mark IV. And we'll come up right here instead. Oh, that's a Mark III, uh, Mark IV. And we'll go in, go under, in, okay. So, tungsten plate. So let's go ahead and give this guy tungsten. I'm going for it. Let's do it. All right, so. Let's grab a couple of these uh, pipe to ground Mark IIs. And then let's go ahead and go up. Actually, it's not going to work because if I do this, it's going to conflict with that one. If I go under, it'll start messing up, see? So I need to go one more up. And then like this, like that. Okay. Let's give you an output. There we go, making tungsten plate. Of course, that'll probably use up all my, that'll probably use up all my tungsten over time. Now let's let that craft up for a little while and see what we get. All right, so it looks like that deconstruction job is done. Uh, a lot of corpses over here. Any any queens? I want some queens. Come on, show me some queens. Nothing. Oh well. All right. No big deal. We can always go find the base with our laser shotgun and wreck face with that. All right. So, uh, do I even have any more of these purple? I do have purple science packs, so I should be able to get this robot speed before this runs out. Let's go ahead and dump these in here. What is everybody crying about? I know, I'm under attack. I'm always under attack. It's no nothing new here, guys. However, what I do want to do is possibly start making my... Sweet, told you. Uh, let's go for the carrying capacity. Actually, I do want to get the extra character slots. Alright. Get this in there. 
I also want to start figuring out what is out there. Let's go ahead and uh, I know that there's somewhere in here is my are my radar dishes that I had. Okay, let's make some of these. And uh, unfortunately, guys, that's gonna about wrap it up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. My name's Oni, and I'll see you next time.